We are diving straight to the paper review segment this morning. Mustafa Isa is still here with us in the studios. Quickly, Mustafa, we're looking at the number of papers this morning, so we will run as fast as we can. Let's begin with the Nigerian News Direct newspaper. Uh, major story, FG eyes $1.5 billion World Bank loan to finance budget deficit. It comes with a few riders there, uh, which uh, it says, as minister pledges to respect CBN autonomy, ways and means of borrowing limits. Hmm. Hmm. All right, uh, a few more stories here. Uh, Senate assures Ogun government of support to fix Lagos Abekuta Express Way. And uh, while you're doing emerges as chairman of uh, African Governors Forum. And a few more other stories you could find on the front page of the uh, Nigeria News Direct this morning. Grab a copy for details. All right, now to the front page of the Punch. On Monday, our federal government may spend 3.27 trillion naira on palliative loans. Uh, one of the stories that we discussed uh, during the intro on the show today. Uh, some writers also to support the story. Uh, so other stories just above the nameplates. Naira under pressure. Nigeria may seek dollar loan. That's according to the IMF. You also find Tinubu swears in new ministers as, at FEC meeting today. As FEC meets today. Another worrisome story here. Nightclub workers face prosecution for assaulting La Sepa officials. Can see the pictures, uh, they really show what really happened uh, according to the story. Let's also take a look at this. It's a very worrisome trend. Pastor, three others caught with human skull in Ogun. It's a very <laughs> story. It's a story you don't want to even think about. It's on page four of the paper. Uh, we want to see what's going on there. Now, Israel Hamas, Pope China, UK. Demand end to civilian casualties. That's pretty much the front page of uh, the punch. Some other very interesting stories there. Fuel imports got 843 billion naira. Stakeholders lament inactive refineries. The Nation will be our next stop. The Nation newspaper, major story. Tunumbu, why Supreme Court can't admit articles CSU evidence. It comes with a few writers. The president files reply to ex-vice president's bid. BPC insists CSU certificate not forged. Back and forth, back and forth. Now, U.S. to avert escalation of israel Hamas war. Uh, some other stories here. IMF backs uh, bid to cut inflation, ease debt burden by countries. Uh, we are medi mediating between creditors, de debtors, nation, uh, nations, says uh, a fund president. Above the masthead, what do we have? Uh, well, it's time to fix the Lagos Abiyokuta Expressway, says Akbabio. Economy takes center stage as FEC meets. Uh, that story you find on page, uh, on page four of the Nation newspaper. Announced the Daily Times on Monday, Jackpa, how we worked outside Nigeria, returned penniless. That's according to some youth. For those who wonder what Jackpa means, is uh, we say migration, some would say some kind of, you know, exodus of the people uh, really are disgruntled with the system here. It depends on how you view it. Uh, to other stories above the nameplate, while federal government must slow down borrowings amidst fresh $1.5 billion loan facility. That's the story there. A alleged billionaire drug baron now in NTLA met and another arrested suspect offers $3,000 bribe for freedom. He also find um, a new giver, CSOs demand investigation of public officers NYSC certificate. And on the bottom strip, by Yale Sakogi email polls will reject any results transmission that's not electronic. That's according to the PDP. And plugging fiscal holes in the choked economy is a daily update. Big question there. The Guardian is about his next for review. Firms scale down production, opt for trade over FX and income concerns. Uh, the economy here is on the trial. Now, importers grown over 200% surge in duty amid data fluctuation. Yes, import has grown over 200% surge in duty amid narrow fluctuation. Anxiety as MTEF yet to arrive, National Assembly, two months 
after uh, deadline. Let's look at this one. Um, Netanyahu adamant vows to demolish Hamas amid global uh, condemnation. And a few more other stories you could find here on the front page. Uh, heal the environment, eliminate gas flaring. It's an editorial you could also find uh, in the Guardian newspaper. Yeah. Excuse me, Mustafa, let's talk about the cover story of Nigerian News Direct today. Federal government's eyes 1.5 billion naira dollar World Bank loan to finance budget deficit. So we're going, somebody said, a borrowing. We're going a borrowing again. Well, I thought uh, with the fear of so removal, we will have more money now to spend yeah. than borrow you more again and increasing our circle of debt. indebtedness, uh, which people cried over before Bwari left office. I don't know. Because this borrowing thing, I know that you, you have to plan, you have to, to borrow to finance your budget deficit. I thought. I think the federal government said they are now saving how many trillion per month yeah, for, for how many billions per month now for so easy removal. So that should free up more money for them to spend on the, on the infrastructure. So uh, that will cut the budget deficit. So what is the purpose? If you are still borrowing, what is the purpose of the removal of subsidy? They are actually borrowing to even service loans. That, 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 that is the ex is, it, 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 well, well, see, they said we should make sacrifices really so that we pay more. Each time I go to fill station, for instance, instead of, I used to fill my tank with, uh, I think, uh, my biggest car, I used to fill it with, I did 80,000, now I use almost, uh, 50, almost 50K now. Hmm. That money, that extra money, I should have earned it as subsidy, yes, I but now I'm paying it to government, to you, to develop infrastructure. That's how it's supposed to be. Hmm. So in turn, it will reduce government borrowings. Well, you are still borrowing and all that, and you will save you money. I don't know. Because this is part of it that we keep our naira, really. We, we keep, yeah. you know, we, I, I think we shouldn't go deep into this debt, debt trap again. You get the point? Mm. You let us yeah. borrow with sense, yeah. as so, someone would say. You know, so uh, borrowing totally, I'm not saying it should be scrapped, but it has to be methodical. We borrowed before. Now, if you borrowed before, now we are now spending, we are now borrowing to service what you have borrowed. Yeah. So if you now borrow more, we are going deeper, deeper inside the debt trap. I don't know if you get my and, point and now. Sadly, it's the fact you, that you know, the, we, the revenue is not increasing. It's not, no, it's, it, 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 why did you remove subsidy? It will increase okay. what government you, you look at the front page of the point. Yes. Paper, it says government may spend 3.27 trillion naira. On palliatives and loans. I, I was even coming. Hang on, Mustafa. I, I checked. I checked the records. In yes. 2022, that's talking about this year's budget. Yes. 3.2 trillion naira was budgeted for subsidy. Yes. For the first six months of this first year. First six months, yeah. Of this mm. year. So you can now see that 3.2 million for six months. We are also going to be spending 3.2 million naira for palliatives. It's work done zero. You, you know, some of them raised an issue. I think it call a caller from Benin. The three trillion, I don't want to say on palliative or whatever. Mm. Why don't you identify our refineries, two of them? Put the money into them and resuscitate them. So you have local production of fear. This will reduce the price and eliminate. Do you know how much you spend monthly to import petrol? I mean. It is that amount is putting pressure on the Naira. Absolutely. Because you buy petrol in dollars. So if you if you if you are able to refine locally, that amount you spend in dollars uses in, in importing refined products, mm -hmm. you will save it here. And it will help show up the Naira. That's what are to deploy? That is a, as a national emergency to fix the refineries. Now we're talking about local refi uh, 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 refining capacity. I will be saying it, we'll be saying it over and over and over, but Mustafa, I remember that the president did promise that by December we should get at least one refinery working. Where in October, many people are trying to imagine maybe those that are around our refineries can tell uh, you know, if there is any light at the somebody, end of this very long time. Somebody, somebody raised that issue with me. So raised the issue with me two weeks ago and said, ah, and the president said that by December, yeah. one of them will be fortunate. I say, ah, I don't know what to believe. Oh. 
if the publicly all the fire that was commissioned in uh, May, May up to now is not working, so I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep the calls coming. But the honestly, lines are out open. of the four, <laughs> if you can get three working, three you won't go in. Aren't you, aren't you being of overly optimistic? Yeah, okay, Let's two, go start one. With one. Well, okay, Let's okay. Let's have one. one with the biggest yeah. capacity, the Portacot refinery. Yes. Let's get it working. Let's get it working. Honestly. All right, let's get the calls coming. We'll wait to hear what your perspectives are to the papers, what the papers have thrown out this morning. Quite a number of um, stories for you at uh, this point on the front page of our front pages of our national dailies. Uh, let's run with a few. Okay, we have a joining us right about now again. Ada, good morning. Welcome back. Ada, good morning. I've come um, back again. Okay, I'm glad that I've heard the UK's uh, explanation. Okay, now that's by the way. It's unfortunate that the, the federal government has come in and is still borrowing for consumption. They're about to spare one. Then INEC. INEC has been uh, accepting, saying that, uh, promising that the government should elections, the upcoming election that's coming up, will be transmitted electri electronically. INEC should stop coming up with this uh, promise. It, the Tribunal and INEC, they told us that INEC has the right to conduct the, the elections the how they do it, anyhow. So let them allow the electorate be. Let the electorate enter into the polls with an anyhow mind. So they won't be taking, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, they won't be taking a back when they are disappointed. I wish, uh, I wish all the three states the best in the polls. But the kind of violence I'm seeing, even during the campaign, is, 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 is on the coming. Thank you so much, Ada. Charles, thanks for joining us from Abuja. Good morning. Good morning, Charles. I thought we lost that call. Hope you call back, Charles, to be part of the conversation. So many interesting stories up for discussion today on the front pages of a national daily. Okay? As we await your calls, let's take a look at... Uh, before we take a look at the front page of the Nigerian Tribune, let's be with Mazi Okora for. Mazi, good morning to you. Good morning, sister. Good morning, Rade. Good morning, Rade. Good morning. Thank God today is Monday. Our inflation goes. Today, having not your heart but listening to the word of God, the whole world is celebrating World Food Day, and Nigeria is still talking about palliative. All the money we use in this palette, you can't we use it and make sure we have food by providing fertilizers for the farmers, by building dams, by using that money for that palette to do what and get, take care of our security and make sure that the real farmers get the fertilizer, not the political farmers. Then we're talking about World Food Day. We could see other countries are talking. Look at uh, uh, Ukraine, they are suffering with, with, with the war and they are saying it's giving food to other countries. Nigeria, there is no war here. We cannot yes. provide three square meals. Come on, three square meal. Everybody is out to put this for this point. Well, because the, the military said they are going to wipe out five times pandas. How do you wipe out five times pandas without the capas are still in those? If the capas did not go, you cannot wipe out pandas in the Niger Delta. The capas are the main problem of Nigeria five times for And go and uh, down with it. Please tell them that we shall allow you to be saying the, 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 the same 3,500 naira for the man. A staff, a government official that is supposed to have a house while they are working. With 3,000 for a gas, this guy will get this to the uh, and get the cement and build their own house. That would be keep that your 5,000 something for the cement. Allow Nigeria to concentrate and oh, work. Well, th thank you, Mazi. And ask a mass work. Please, thank Nigeria you. government is what Thank you, Mazi Okara, for your point is well noted. Let's now speak with Sam Diala. From Lagos. Good morning, Sam. Yeah, morning. Yes, um, every day I get frightened about this country. Every morning I wake up, I get frightened. And I tell my children, please, whatever you can do for yourself to survive, do it. Because if you look at what we are seeing, you begin to wonder what is the way out. Here is a country for 80 years we didn't have the refineries working. For 80 years the economy was down. For 80 years there was insecurity. And the people continue to bear it. And we were told that we are going into an election that will bring in 
a new lease of life. We didn't get that. And we are back now to IMF and World Bank to borrow money to service our debts. And what the IMF and World Bank have just told us at the recent election, that the federal government should impose more taxes on the people. So you begin to wonder what's going to happen. So it's very frightening. My brothers and sisters, let's just hope that one day, somehow, some way, we will survive. The refineries are not working. Mm. And we are not seeing any light at the end of the tunnel. It is really frightening. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right. We wish you the same. Let's go with NHO from Abuja. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning and welcome. And let me start by saying, what a country. Why are we like this in this country? Why are we like this? When people are moving forward, Nigeria is moving backward. Let us be serious in this country. Today is World Food Day. People are hungry. There is no day you wake up, people will not call you for 500 naira, 200 naira, 300 naira. Come to the street and see. I don't know if our politicians are seeing this. They are driving around with luxury cars. They will buy cars 500 million, 200 million, and they are moving around. You talk to all Nigeria channels, you'll be angry. 50 people kill in this place, 100 people kill in this place. That's what you hear every day. I mean, I don't know whether they are watching TV. I don't know whether they read paper. God bless Nigeria. Thank you so very much for your time with us. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Faisal, you've listened to the callers this morning. He, he, the last caller, as we see, what are we like this? Was he asking us? <laughs> 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 My brother, that's so seeable. There was a headline that we read, I think the punch, that yeah. uh, a pastor and three people are arrested in Ugu State with a human skull. I, I read that story. Yeah. And they say that it's for, for Mori Ritua. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? You know, a pastor not getting involved with Mori Ritua, and he's a pastor of a church in yeah. Ugu State. You see, every sector in Nigeria has serious problems, including religion. At the weekend, there was a report that, uh, you know, for the first time, Nigeria came second in one particular thing. Uh, the, the most prayerful countries in the world. Yes. Uh, Nigeria, Nigeria, Afghanistan. Is it Nigeria? No, <coughs> number, Afghanistan number one. Number one. And Nigeria number two. two. Yes. Uh, if you see the countries that are top ten, the most prayerful countries, yeah. top ten, they are the poorest countries. Then, go, the conversely, go to the bottom. Mm. The 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 least the, the least African country, the ten are the most developed. Are the most developed. China, Switzerland, uh, even UK, and all that. They are there. They are there. The least prayerful countries. They are the more developed countries. Why the most prayerful countries are the ones that are not developing? Afghanistan is one of the poorest countries in the world, but you number one. That what does that tell you? What does it tell you? Mm. Mm. Religious thing. This religious thing. Pray. Nobody will show. We spread the, sometimes now. I yes, I see some churches having prayers on on the Monday on the Monday morning. Ah, that pastor should be arrested for encouraging business in this country. <laughs> on the Monday morning, we are we are going to have service in your church. <laughs> when people should be out there working. That is Nigeria today. You people just pray, just pray. Ah, a pastor will tell you. Ah, I pray that just go to your account tomorrow. You will see some miraculous figure in your account. How? How? From where? Go and walk. Absolutely. Go and walk. No. A pastor once told me, he, he said, look, if you pray to God that money falls from your ceiling, say that money is fake. <laughs> it's fake. Would it even ever happen? Jeremy Money, Nigeria Naira must come from the CBN. I can be signed by the CBN governor. Any other one is fake. Let us tell her, say the whole truth. All right. Well, uh, I, I, just, I said at the beginning of the show that we have to take a look at that someday soon on Focus on the show. Uh, let's glance through the biggest stories on the remaining papers for today. Nigerian Tribune says, by Yelsa Kogi Imo elections, PDP, Labour Party disagree with ABC over our next assurance. Uh, the details are there on page 22 of the paper. Chicago State University, Tinubu gives reasons why Supreme Court can't accept articles fresh evidences. 
There are other stories on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune today. And the business day is our next stop. Uh, talking business, Nigeria's power dream stock. 10 years after privatization, the Business Day newspaper, Nigeria's power dream stock, 10 years after uh, privatization. Below the picture, what do we have? Banks lending soar 50% in H1, which is first, uh, first half of the year, despite interest rates hike. These are a few more stories you could find on the front page of the, the Business Day. And now to Vanguard newspaper, 21 states own 790 billion naira he inherited pensions and gratuities, and the riders are there to support the story. Foreign investments in manufacturing up 88% to 861 million dollars. That's the big story. Then above the nameplate, Ohaneze to meet Tinubu over in Nabdikanus. Another big story there. A blueprint newspaper certificate controversy. Tinubu fights back, alleges forgery against article uh, a few other stories there uh 1.5 billion naira world bank loan refocused fiscal policy mobilized domestic uh revenue experts tell federal uh, government get these for both stories mustafa we have to go within just one minute two stories cover story of the vanguard 21 states owe 790 billion naira inherited pensions and gratuities then just about the name plate, Hohan is it to meet Tinubu over Namdekano? Yeah, the, let me start with the, the last one. I, I, I saw this story at the weekend, and anything that happened that would bring peace to, to this country, um, I think it should be done. There is something wrong in the Hanese meeting with the president to discuss what affects their region. I mean, it says to be taken. Some have said that, okay, the matter is in court. No, sometimes you can't taste anything out of the court. Yeah. For, for, quick peace to return. And then the other one is, uh, you know, some governors, people who, who retire, they will pay their gratuities, and they are owing pensions. Mm. There are even some states today, one year, no payment of pension to these suffering old people who, who put their life, where they approach life to serve, serve this country. I think it should be cleared. In this critical period now, I think that's the best quality the pension for you to pay them. To get, thank you. All right, uh, we've had, uh, we're having with us right here in the studios, Mustafa Issa, who's the head of News Rhythm 93.7 Lagos. So thank you, Mustafa, for being part of it. Every Monday is a pleasure. <laughs> it's, you know, so good to have you on the show. That's what having me. Thank you so much. Me.